Today is the day to talk about the James Webb Space Telescope, which has been making incredible discoveries in various areas of astronomy, from the very deep universe, close to the beginning of the universe, near the Big Bang, to discoveries here very close to us, here in the solar system. And also, as you know, as I always say, one of the main goals of the James Webb is to study star formation. How do astronomers do that? They have to point the James Webb at nebulae that are considered stellar nurseries. Why? Because we know that for a star to be born, it needs a significant amount of gas and dust. When this gas and dust accumulates, a star is born. And there is no better region to study this process than the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is one of these stellar nurseries. It is a region, the largest star-forming region, closest to Earth. It is only 1,350 light-years away from Earth, located in the constellation of Orion, in the Orion Belt. You can even see it with the naked eye. If you put a telescope there, you'll see something very beautiful. And it's where many stars are forming. The Orion Nebula has already been studied by the Hubble. It has been studied by several telescopes. Why? Because it contains many protostars, in other words, stars in their initial stages of formation. When we studied it with the Hubble, it was one thing, but now, now we have the James Webb Space Telescope, which, with its infrared vision, can penetrate deeper into the dust and gas cloud. In other words, penetrate deeper into the Orion Nebula and unveil its mysteries and sometimes find things that astronomers didn't even know they would discover. And that's what it did recently. It was pointed at the Orion Nebula and there it discovered a very interesting type of object. These objects are called Jupiter mass binary objects. They also have the nickname Jumbo, which is nothing more than an acronym for the name. Astronomers discovered a cluster of nearly 150 objects floating in the middle of the Orion Nebula, and their mass is not much greater than that of Jupiter. And here's the big question. What could these objects be? Stars? No, because to be stars, they would need to be more massive. Brown dwarfs, perhaps, but they have too much mass or too little mass to be brown dwarfs. So what are these objects? And that's what's currently puzzling astronomers. Thanks to the James Webb, they are seeing things they couldn't see before. The Jumbos seem to be a smaller class of gaseous objects because, to be a brown dwarf, an object needs to have up to 13 times the mass of Jupiter. The new objects they found can reach about half the mass of Jupiter but with a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. They are separated by about 200 times the distance between Earth and the Sun and one orbits the other in a trajectory that takes about 20,000 years. And why is that? Because these objects, in addition to being mysterious, were discovered in pairs. Astronomers said that if they were alone in the universe, it would be easy to explain their existence. But they come in pairs. And 42 of them were seen by the James Webb Space Telescope in the Orion Nebula. According to the models we have for star formation and everything else, it shouldn't be possible to form such small objects directly from dust and gas clouds, let alone form these objects in pairs, even if they were planets ejected. So, no, it wouldn't be possible, according to the models. Astronomers said this discovery is completely unexpected. Isn't that cool? Many stars, as we know, the Sun itself probably formed in pairs, but as objects decrease in mass, they become less common because the gravitational attraction between them isn't strong enough to keep these two objects together. However, these jumbos, which are binary objects with the mass of Jupiter, imply that we may have missed a step. Something was lost in the formation of these objects. Could these jumbos be the missing link between planets, for example, and brown dwarfs? It's possible, who knows? But we don't know because it was just discovered by the James Webb. And it challenges all explanations, all models of star and planetary formation. So what are the researchers' idea now? It's to observe new stellar nurseries and, in these other stellar nurseries, thanks to the observational power of the James Webb, try to find other objects like these. And that's the thing, not just in astronomy, but in most sciences, the more objects of a certain type you have, 
the easier it becomes to explain what that object is, its nature, its origin, its evolution. So one of the things researchers will do now is look for these jumbos in other star-forming regions. Astronomers know several of them, several of these stellar nurseries, and they will look for these objects. So there you have it, the James Webb Space Telescope surprising everyone. It's truly a machine of great discoveries, unexpected discoveries, and it's the thing, right? Why didn't we see this before? Because we didn't have the technology to see it. The best we had was the Hubble. With the Hubble, we couldn't see this, because the Hubble, although it works a bit in the infrared, is really very limited in the infrared range, so it can't study these dust and gas clouds deeply. It can't delve into these nebulae to discover these objects. The James Webb, on the other hand, can. It operates in the near-infrared, mid-infrared. It has the NIAR cam, it has the MIRI, all these instruments. And with them, it can delve into these nebulae and study them in detail and discover things we've never seen before, like the jumbos. So, what are these objects? What are the jumbos? That's the thing. The more we search for answers to some questions, the more questions are created about the universe. It's fascinating. Luckily, today we have the James Webb to help us, or not, to complicate astronomy a bit. Is everything okay? Folks, this was the video I wanted to bring to the channel for you now. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know what to do. Don't forget the YouTuber package. Share, favorite, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, leave in the comments what you want to know. And don't forget to watch this other special video I made for you.